In this example problem, we are given a data file uh, with the life expectancy of residents of each of the 50 U.S. states as of 2019. And we are going to be tasked to summarize this information that's provided to determine a few points. What is the mean or arithmetic mean, arithmetic mean life expectancy of a resident within the U.S.? What is the median life expectancy? What is the first quartile life expectancy, the point in time where, or the point in the data set where 25% of our returns are below that number? The third quartile, which is the point in our data set where 75% of the returns are over, and the interquartile range, the difference between the 75th percentile, or third quartile, and the 25th percentile, or first quartile, which basically is a capture of how much spread is there in the middle 50% of returns. Let's start with the mean life expectancy. So I can go to the cell that I want to put the information in. I'm going to go over here to F6. I'm going to go up to my insert function tab, and I want average to find the mean. So I'm going to hit go. Average is highlighted, and I'm going to hit OK. And I want the average of all the life expectancies that were given for each state, which is the data in column C. So I'm going to click on the first one, hit Control, Shift, and Down, and grab the information from all 50 states. It should be the range of cells C2 to cell C51. And I'm going to hit OK. And I get 78.42 years. So the average person living in the U.S. in 2019 lived to an age of 78.42 if we use the arithmetic mean as our measure of average. Well, is there a big difference between that and the median? Like, is there a state someplace where people are living a very long time or a very short amount of time? They could be throwing off the mean as a good measure of average. Well, to figure that out, I want to use the median function. So I'm going to go and insert a function and pick median, hit go, and median is the first thing that comes up. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And I'm going to grab information from the same range of cells, C2 to C51. Hit OK, and it comes out to be 78.45. So there's not. It's essentially the same. No matter which one of these two we use as a measure of average, people live to about 78 and a half years old in the U.S. as of 2019. Well, what about our measures of variation or measures of dispersion? Is there a big difference from state to state? Well, let's use the interquartile range to determine that. And to use the interquartile range, we're going to have to first find the first quartile and the third quartile. So in cell F8, next to the first quartile expectancy, I'm going to go and insert a function up here. And the function that I want is percentile. So I'm going to type in percentile. I'm going to hit go. And I'm going to get a bunch of returns over here. Uh, regular percentile only works with Excel 2007 and earlier, so you don't want that. So your options over here are do we want percentile.exe or inc. Percentile.exe excludes the largest and smallest number in the data file, which means uh, Hawaii, as we can see over here, has the highest life expectancy would get thrown out. The state with the lowest life expectancy would get thrown out. We don't want that. We're not trying to find the... Um, interquartile range of the middle 48 states by throwing out the highest and lowest. We want all 50 states. EXC stands for exclusive because it excludes those two. We want to include those two, which is why we're going to use percentile.inc, the inclusive version that takes into consideration every single point in our data file. So I'm going to hit OK after I've clicked that percentile.inc. And here I have the array and a K. First, the array is the set of numbers that you want to find the percentile within. That's going to be the same thing that we have over here, C2 to C51. And then K is the percentile that you are looking for. And we are looking for the first quartile, which is the point in time, or the point in the file, where 25% of the information lies below. So I'm going to type in 0.25. And I'm going to hit OK. And my return for this is going to come up to 77.53. So only 25% of the states have an average age of 77 and a half or below. Let's use the same concept over here for the third quartile. I can go back to my insert function. I still want percentile ink, which is highlighted right now. So I'm going to hit OK. Our array is still the life expectancy of all the states. So click on the first one, control shift and down, highlights everything in the field. Now I'm on the third quartile, and the third quartile is the point where 75%, or 0.75, of the data lies below. So for my K, I'm going to put in 0.75, I'm going to hit OK, 
and it returns to me 79.70. So in three quarters of the states, the average life expectancy is 79.7 years or less. Or if you want to look at it another way, uh, on average, only 25% of the states have a life expectancy greater than 79.7. So what is our interquartile range? Well, it's just Q3, the third quartile, minus Q1, the first quartile. And I can type that in as a formula right here. It is equal to Q3, the third quartile, minus Q1, the first quartile. Or in our case, cell F9 minus cell F8. And if I put that in, 2.18. So is there a great dispersion here? Does living in different states really change how long that you live for? And the answer to that is not really. Uh, in the middle 50% of states, the range of your life expectancy is only going to be about two years. So it's not a huge level of dispersion. Living and moving from state to state is not going to greatly increase your life expectancy.